today are potions for my ink spell. This is no different than what goes on in the kitchen every day. So if you want to see chemistry around your house, just watch dinner being fixed. These are nothing more than fancy measuring cups. Why do you think they have this design? It's so that you can swirl them to mix ingredients without having them spill. If you tried this with just a regular measuring cup, you'd have vegetable oil all over the counter, right? <laughs> but see, I can swirl these to get them to mix real well. Now, if I measure these out carefully, all I need to do is mix them together, pronounce the right incantation or magic spell, and then use my magical powers and rub it to turn it into ink. So, are you ready? Pour them together. Then say the spell, which goes, when east is east, and west is west, and one flies over the cuckoo's nest. When red is red, and pink is pink, make this water black as ink, and then I rub with my magic fingers. Now, is that magic? Yeah. Good act. Did I earn my G Wiz time? Yes. <laughs> 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 If you don't know how this chemistry works, can be like, you can think that I have magic powers. You think you and if you don't give me a lot of money, I will make warts grow on your nose. That's, I think that's what wizards used to do. But now, you can earn a, a living as a wizard just by turning into a teacher. You can even reveal your, your recipes. So uh, we're going to turn into scientists now. What scientists actually do is have their curiosity aroused by something and say, wow, I wonder how he did that probably thinking that right now, right? So what does a scientist do when, when a scientist wants to figure out what's going on? Um, he makes a hypothesis. He or she makes a hypothesis, right? <laughs> Very good. So we need some hypotheses. What science secret did I know that let it make me that This is look like a magic trick. What do you think I knew that I controlled Yes? Right. Well, it's the right chemicals. And it's tricky to make this set of potions. So you have to be a good cook. Mm -hmm. yeah. The amount of time, that's one possibility. Anything else you can think of? The right measurements. Well, the right measurements makes a difference. What was I doing when I changed colors? Yeah, what might come from my hand? Heat. That could be heat. Could be time. Yeah, it's a, it's a chemical reaction, and we'll play with that idea of measurements if you want. How would we test to see if it's my touch? Don't touch it, and then what would happen if that's the correct? All right, if, if I don't touch it, what would happen? It wouldn't change color. That's if you wanted to test, let's try it. And I have Raymond help me here. We'll do exactly the same stuff, except I won't touch it. Raven's going to keep it away. Can you run pretty fast? Yeah. Okay, because I used to be a sprinter. If you change more than one thing at a time, really, you won't know which one was the more important one. So, a good experiment only changes one thing, so we'll everything else is the same, including the cheesy incantation. Today it's taking about 16 seconds. 
it got a little bit cooler than it usually is because I left them in the car overnight. And so what I'm really doing is counting the 16 in my head while I'm visiting with the audience, which is a kind of a pretty good trick, right? Except all I've done is I practice my spell. So that takes 11 seconds out of the 16. So how long do I really have to count? Five seconds. So I'm really just counting the five while I'm pouring the solutions together and giving them a little swirl. And then I can start my spell and everything will come out just about right. So let's do another run here. You measure out 200 milliliters. And 200 milliliters. This is actually called the iodine clock reaction. The ingredients of potion number one only got one ingredient other than water is potassium iodate that has a formula KiO3. So we've got to periodic tables. K is atom number 19, so it'd be on the left edge there. I is number 53, so it'd be in the next to the last column on the right. And oxygen is number 8, so it'd be in the second row. The first row is it's only got two squares on it. Should be in the second row, most of the way to the has a hole. Okay? So that's what's in the first potion. The second potion is made out of sodium sulfite. That's Na, number 11. S, number 16. O3. Again, some oxygen. It's also got some sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. H is number 1. We've already had S and O. And it's also got some ghost poop in it. Three pellets of ghost poop. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I call the white packing peanuts that are made out of potato starch. Rather than syrup. So really this is a reaction between iodine and starch. It's called the iodine clock reaction. If we pour it together now, pour it. One, two, three, sixteen, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I was counting too slow. <laughs> this is too slow. So <laughs> that's what I was doing. I'm better at, at uh, doing my incantation than counting at one second intervals. But we had somebody say it depends on the measures, and it does. It depends on temperature for every. 10 degrees Celsius the temperature changes, it changes the time for the color change by a factor of two. If you heat it up, it goes twice as fast, 10 degrees hotter, and if you cool it off, it goes twice as long. So let's uh, play with one of the recipes here. I have to be a little tricky. Let's just use half as much of my potion number one. I'll use 200 milliliters of potion number two. Now I have to be real clever here. How can I use only half as much number one but not change anything else? If I just put in 100 milliliters, that means when I pour them together I have a total of 300, right? 200 plus one is 300. How can I get it to be 400 like in the first time? Um, add potion two to I can just add some water that doesn't have anything in it. And then, then I'll keep 400 as the total volume. So that's the sort of thing you have to plan on when you do experiments like this, is to make sure you're only changing one thing at a time. Because if I just put 100 milliliters, that would change lots of things at a time, right? So I'll just add a little bit more of this tap water. I hope Durango water is good water. Let's see. I think it is. Does your water come out of the animals? By you see Up the Florida River. Okay. Well, let's try it now. Maybe I should uh, time it on my watch. I'll, I'll use my watch to count the seconds. Remember, it was about 16. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. See? Change the time. Wow. In fact, if you're clever, you can make a different recipe for each beaker or a whole bunch of them together all at once. And you can play jingle bells and a different beaker will change the time. Oh, that's so cool. So if I say it's called iodine clockery. And it's a lot of fun to play.